All right, hey guys, welcome in. Happy art day to you guys. I have a fun little project on Cat in a Hat, one of my favorite characters, on drawing his hat. I gotta get a little twist kind of towards the end on how you can turn this project into a couple different projects. I'm gonna go step by step for just the hat itself. It's a pretty easy one. So let's get started right on it. I'm gonna have the paper up and down instead of sideways, so right up and down. On about the middle of it, I'm gonna have a curvy line that kind of goes from side to side, really, really stretched out. So a nice big line across there. And then with a little curve, kind of like a C on one side, and then a backwards C on the other side. Connect those, and that's kind of the brim or the lid of his hat. For his hat shape, it's gonna be like a giant rectangle on top. You can kind of lean it a little bit, and then it goes over. Doesn't have to be perfect, and then comes all the way down on this side. All right, pretty easy shapes on there. And then for the stripes, I'm gonna start it on this side. I'm gonna go up a little bit and then have a little curve. And when you add that little curve, it makes it look a little bit more three-dimensional. So I'm gonna do one, two, three of those. Easy as that. Let's go outline this in Sharpie and then I'll add the color onto there. So let's go through that real quick. All right, so I got that outlined in Sharpie. I'm gonna go through with some color pencils to color that in, but as I said, I got a little sneak peek at what the project might be. Okay, okay, I'll show you that and I'll get to that later. But I'm gonna go through that real quick in colored pencils with our red and our white stripes. So let me get my reds out and we'll go through that real quick. Just like that turned out awesome. I tried to color it a little bit darker on the outside and a little bit lighter. That's called shading. It makes it look a little bit more realistic. So now, like I said, I got a couple different options for where this can go. What I'm gonna do is actually cut this hat out. Do a background on this. You could put cat in the hat on this. You could do a selfie on this. I'm kinda gonna do a couple different things. So I had my kids do selfies a couple weeks ago, but I actually just took a selfie, took of, a my selfie of myself. Have just a regular picture of yourself and then you could put the hat on top of that, or you could have a fun, silly version of a selfie, which is the one I'm gonna use. So I cut this one out of kind of a crazy face looking up at my hat on there. I think that's gonna turn out good, and then I'm gonna cut this out. Um, but you could also, but you could also use um, a drawn picture. Um, I did self-portraits with my kids uh, with my second graders a couple weeks ago and some of them turned out really really awesome So then you could do something like that and put the hat on top of that Cut this out and see how it looks on mine. So I'll go through that real fast All right, and just like that there it is I thought it turned out really really cool um, Like I said, there's a bunch of different areas and different things that you could do um, Different with this project, but I had some fun you could do a red background you could do a blue background You could put it like this I said I had my kids Doing something like this and you could set the hat on top of one of their drawings and I think that still looks cool um, There's a lot of different variations. You don't have to do a silly one You could do like a normal picture, but I thought the silly one looked kind of cool So I'm gonna put that together like that. Uh, thank you guys for viewing this as always. I am mr. Shooty This is mr. Shooty or this is mr. Shooty and this is mr. Shooty's art channel. We will talk to you guys later